Joining us now, Jim DeFeeney, host of Facing South Florida. A lot to talk about mm -hmm. with the president-elect's first couple of weeks since the election here. And you interviewed Congressman Ili Ileana Ross Layton and earlier today. Not a Trump supporter no, during the I, campaign. I was going to make that clear. It's no secret that Ileana Ross Layton is not a Trump person. She wrote in Jeb Bush's name on election day. She made that clear. But she's an important person in all this process. She sits on the House Foreign Relations Committee. And so a lot of these people that, that uh, he uh, is going to appoint will end up coming through her committee at one time or another. And so we talked to her about some of those people that are being appointed. And here's that sound. He has chosen an attorney general, Jeff Sessions. Are you troubled by that pick? I am troubled by that pick, understanding that it's President-elect uh, Trump's uh, pick to, to make, and he made it. I want to get your opinion of Mike Flynn, who's the national security advisor now. That doesn't have to be confirmed by anyone. Uh, he has said and tweeted as earlier as just, just this year, fear of Muslims is rational. I know, and you know, we, we tell you our kids... You obviously don't agree with that. I do not agree with that. I don't agree with the red Registry of Muslims, and and I and I congratulate the uh, uh, the CEO of the Anti Defamation League, who says, look, if we're going to have a registry of Muslims, we should all sign up as Muslims. Would you uh, do that? Uh, I think that's a wonderful thing. Why would we not? I think everyone should be registering as Muslims. We shouldn't have a registry of people based on their religion. This this is absurd. So as you can see, some pretty strong feelings by Ileana Ross Layton, and again, a Republican, but someone who did not support Donald Trump. And it's not just Muslims. There are, you know, communities of color that are in fear over this president-elect, Donald Trump. Uh, what about the deportations right, of, this, of this, Mexicans? Look, and she has been, uh, Ileana Ross Layton's been a major supporter of the Dreamers, the DAPA kids, the DACA folks, the folks who came here when they were very young. She's concerned. One of the questions I asked her was whether or not President Obama should wipe out the registry that they have because they collected a lot of data on all these people who came out of the shadows and registered as part of that program. 740,000 names the federal government now has of undocumented young people who are here in this country. The question is, should President Obama do away with that list? It's a question some people are asking. She says she's not sure, but that's a possibility. It's interesting. You know, you see a new administration, any new administration, you wonder how they're going to work with members of the opposing party. But Congresswoman Ileana Ross Layton, and a real clear example that Donald Trump's going to have to figure out a way to work with Republicans, too. I thought it was hysterical. To me, I, I find fascinating when you talk about diversity trying to create in his cabinet. The idea of diversity is have Mitt Romney come into the cabinet, and then that'll <laughs> add some diversity to varying viewpoints within the Republican Party. We haven't even gotten to the point yet of when we're going to start talking about appointing Democrats into the administration. Is he going to have at least one high-profile Democrat? So it's, you know, this is a fascinating process. Look, I know Donald Trump has been criticized on some fronts with how he's handled the transition, but he's rolling out names a lot faster than any other presidential candidate ever has. He's naming people here. And look, elections have consequences. And this is what you got when you voted for Donald Trump. And I can't think of a president-elect who hasn't named Named somebody that hasn't had controversy following after them, Kimball Wood and the Bill Clinton administration, who never yeah. even uh, got to take Secretary off. State, that's going to be the one that's going to be really interesting to watch. All right, Jim, thanks very much. And watch Jim's interview with Ileana Ross Layton this Sunday at 8.30 this uh, morning, 8.30 in the morning, right here on CBS4.